Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include The EU Commission lays out energy roadmap to 2050. European Union is building a robot training knowledge base. The EU clamps down on subsidies from German energy producers. European Union seeks advice and ideas from university students, plus European development budget spending to Africa, the Caribbean and Pacific states is released. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. First, from our legislation section. This detailed report sets out a high-level strategic view of how the EU hopes to provision and produce energy going forward to 2050. The report covers the details of the plan concisely and there are many links to supporting documents. This is a non-legislative, own initiative report seeking a motion from the European Parliament resolution drafted in response to the communication from the Commission entitled Energy Roadmap 2050. Look out if your name's John or Sarah Connor, the EU is building the real Skynet. Now, for those of you who aren't Terminator movie fans, you can consign the above to the complete nonsense tray. However, in this article, we highlight a project which has been running since 2009. The initiative called RoboEarth has been developed to help robots collectively operate and learn in the unstructured environments of the modern world. This is a real wow article that might scare some, but will certainly intrigue many. The EU announced yesterday that grid-free exemptions for large German firms may constitute unfair subsidies. I reported earlier this year that the EU had already read the riot act to Germany over its energy industry. We later reported that massive investment from the German government into solar energy production had produced a net loss in terms of output. This saw German, Germany forced to buy energy in from the French, who generate the largest majority of their power from nuclear. Since autumn 2011, two senior representatives of EU institutions have been visiting universities across Europe to meet with young people and listen to their ideas for a younger and better Europe. The top five ideas have now been selected and will shortly be submitted to the European Parliament. This article has a breakdown of the five key areas, which include democracy, employment, rights and education. Apparently, the students are very keen to have some of these. We've reported in piecemeal several direct deployment funding objectives set out by the EU Commission. Agricultural spending in Kenya, infrastructure in Mali, and who could forget the banana farmers in Guadeloupe? This legislative report officially passed sanction on 12th of March and defines the capital requirements needed to sustain these and other extra-EU funding objectives. Today in our video library, we have a video from the European Global Project. The interviewers set out very clearly that their goal is to assimilate nation-states and to operate on the global stage as a supranational federation. The video discusses EU foreign policy, the EU-US partnership and the new role of the EU in the world. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Finally, we now have a brand new live and interactive show that you can be involved with. The Unit Interactive show begins this Friday at 9pm, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. For those of you that follow us on Google+, you can also be part of the show using Google Hangouts. 
Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+, and I will send you an invite to join the show. Links to our community are in the page below. Rick Timmis for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.